Hey what's up guys, Sam here with Custom PC Review and today I wanted to do an overclocking tutorial for you guys on the ASRock Z68 Professional Gen 3 motherboard. So I'm basically going to overclock this to 4.8 GHz for you so you can kind of see the settings. And the BIOS I'm using is going to be the 1.30 BIOS. As you can see I've got an i5-2500K here and that is the processor speed. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you do, you obviously need to go to the OC tweaker. So I'm going to move the camera a little closer for you guys so you have a better look. Alright, so uh, first thing, obviously, CPU ratio setting is manual and you want to set the second value down there on the max ratio to 48 internal PLL over voltage enabled steep speed step enabled turbo boost power limit manual and I set the power limits to 250 watts and on the bottom there's another power limit so you want to set that to 250 watts as well the core current limit and do not touch the base clock you really don't want to mess with that it kind of screws with the internal memory controllers voltage and things like that and the uh, all the ports and everything so you don't want to mess with that um, otherwise spread spectrum make sure it's disabled all right and also go into the memory configuration just make sure everything's on auto for now uh, you can overclock it later after you get a stable CPU overclock first. So power save mode, you got to disable that. Um, on the voltage, the CPU core voltage, I do set it to offset mode. And the voltage itself, I do a plus 0 0.050. Load line calibration, I set it to 4, but you can do more aggressive ones like 3, 2, or 1, and that usually gives you more stability. Uh, memory, I have it at 1.5 volts because my memory is rated for that. And I'm going to get it to focus a little bit more. Show you that the PLL voltage, I set it to 1.750. I do find that it gives me a tad bit more stability. And the rest, I kind of just leave auto. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is go to CPU configuration. And the only thing I really do is I switch the package C state support from, I believe it starts off in auto, and I set it to C2. And I find that it's it, it does help uh, give you a bit more stability in your overclock. But that's about it. Anything else on full auto right here hardware monitor I currently have all the fans running at max but later on once you get your stable overclock and you stress test it you've known um, you know exactly what kind of temperatures you're getting even at full fan speeds then you can kind of change those settings and uh, hopefully your computer will be a bit more silent but um, that's about it, so just save changes and exit. Alright, so while it's booting up, I'm just going to show you guys uh, some of the parts I have on the test bench right here. So that right there is the Galaxy GTX 560 2GB GC. And, uh, right there, that's the Fantex I don't know what the code is, but the Fantex Big Cooler. And uh, it's kind of their only one, so if you look up Fantex, you'll find it. And uh, that one has three fans right there, all 140mm. And this right here is the motherboard, and it's the ASRock Z68 Professional Gen 3. And I normally don't buy the, you know, stuff like Fatality, all those branded things, but, um, you know, this board looks fantastic. It's got nice looking caps and everything, so. And on top, 
and uh, everything here is sitting on top of a high-speed PC top deck tech station so if you guys are interested in that or any of these parts I guess uh, I'll, I'll throw a link somewhere in the description box so um, if you guys are interested in you know buying any of this stuff anyways I'm gonna get back over to the computer right here because it has booted and I probably will skip this part for you guys or not and uh, there it is so I'm just gonna start up a couple of things CPU Z core temp and Intel burn test so Intel burn test is pretty good um, it stresses out your computer pretty nicely so I'm um, just gonna use that normally I use prime 95 um, I don't think prime 95 does as good of a job um, but you know when you're playing games and stuff that's that's just fine already so it doesn't matter and while I try to get the text to come out on my camera that's, there it is alright so as you can see I've already started the burn test and it's going and uh, right here you can see I'm at 4.8 gigahertz and the temperatures are actually really good you can see that right there it says 58 degrees Celsius of course and the room temp right about now is about 66 68 degrees Fahrenheit and there it is I do have the heater going so um, temperatures might be a bit lower but as you can see here it's doing really well for you know what, what kind of overclocking I'm doing right now as you can see right there my voltages was at 1.392 now it's down to 1.376 um, or so 364 and uh, I dropped because the test was done but as you can see the maximum temperature was about 60 degrees Celsius so there it is and uh, you know it, you can always do more of these tests and obviously if you are going to do an overclock like this and you, you actually want to keep it at like a 24 7 overclock um, you definitely want to run this about two three times um, you know minimum I'd say about like an hour of running these uh, stress tests I would actually switch to prime 95 and uh, just keep that running for like six hours or like overnight to make sure that your computer never blue screens so just gonna stop that real quick and, and yeah I'm just gonna run prime 95 so I'm probably just gonna leave this running for the next couple hours or so and um, you know there it is just a quick kind of tutorial on how to overclock um, links to all these programs in the description box below if anyone has any questions uh, feel free to leave a comment or go to forums and uh, if you like this video make sure to like favorite and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more